Hello, I am Lakshman Maheshwari and today we will talk about the Government of India Act of 1858. It called for the liquidation of the British East India Company and the transfer of its function to the British Crown. It was an act of the Parliament of the Britain passed on August 2nd, 1858. There were grave defects in the existing system of the Government of India. Edward Henry Stanley introduced a bill originally titled as an act for the better government of India. He later went on to become the first Secretary of State for India. With this act, India was to be governed directly and in the name of the Crown. The Indian War of Independence of 1857 worried the British government. India was too important as a colony to let go of. Here you can see the proclamation to the Prince, Chiefs and people of India issued by Queen Victoria to this effect. We hold ourselves bound to the natives of our Indian territories by the same obligation of duty which bind us to all our other subjects. Now let us talk about the provisions of this act. The company's territories in India were to be vested in the Queen. India was to be governed in the Queen's name. The Crown was empowered to appoint a Governor General and the Governors of the Presidencies. Here too, all the property and other assets of the East India Company were transferred to the Crown. The Crown also assumed the responsibilities of the Company related to treaties, contracts and so forth. Now let us talk about the position of Secretary of State. The Queen's Principal Secretary of State received the powers and duties of the company's court of directors. He became the real channel for all the communications between Britain and India. A council of 15 members was appointed to assist the Secretary of State for India. The council became an advisory body in Indian affairs. The Indian Civil Services was to be created under the control of the Secretary of State. The Act urged in a new period of Indian history bringing about the end of company's rule in India. The era of the new British Raj would last until partition of India in August 1947. This video was about the Government of India Act of 1858 and was brought to you by Lakshman Maheshwari. Thank you and have a good day.